Yes, we're in the electrical room now. But in this video, we're going to have a look at an old elevator from 1953. I have walked around in the motor room. Where all mechanical stuff is. That will be pretty interesting. So yes, we have some telephone here and fiber optic. So yes, let's go and have a look at the elevator. safe there and here we got a lot of documentation yes I hope there's nobody out there of course there is some people out there and wait for them to go away There's the elevator. Yeah, somebody was using it. That's a foot switch. You see that's what that is. Yes, the I'm going to talk a little bit about the elevator. The elevator is a bit special because if you walk in the elevator, there is a like a plate to put your foot on all your weight on it and it has a switch under it this keeps the light turned on but when it's nobody in there the light is off of course it's a bit special and it's all mechanical we've got switches and relays and there there are no there are no level switches in, in the doors the all the level switches are in the engine room itself it's a bit special about that of course, we got the door indication, but that's all about it. There's nothing in the shaft for the or the, or the elevator shaft. There's nothing in there because all the level switches and everything is in the roof in the engine room. So we're gonna have a look in there. There are a lot of people here. Third floor. There's a switch there. You can't take four persons. And yes, there is no soft stop on this one, it just breaks directly. Open door, of course. So it's now we're in the roof, or under the roof. There's a fan room in there, we'll have a look at that later. And here's the engine room, or the motor room for the elevator. And it's locked, of course. You have some keys to open it, like that. And there we got it. 1953, it's a very old motor, or elevator. With the motor here, 3.2 kilowatts, three phase, 400 volts. There's a level switches. 
Here you got the contactors, relays, where the elevator should go. That's an up contactor, down contactor. In the back here we've got some selenium rectifiers, a transformer, nicely wired, a, some kind of resistor there, a capacitor, some uh, smaller capacitors, and the resistor I think, another selenium there, and a long row of uh, terminals. There's an alarm box. There's a floor relays. Four floors there. We are on the fifth as at the moment. It's dripping a bit oil here. And yes, there's the level switches. All mechanical. Everything is up here. Nice bearings on those ones. Yes, yeah, so it's like a normal elevator with motor here, brake here, a gear. Do we see some ratios on that one? Not so much, 1953. Made by the Finnish company Kone. Kone is machine in Finnish. So yeah, I don't think here nothing is going to happen, so I have my magic screwdriver and we are on the fourth floor, so let's go make it go to the basement and have a look on this contactor here and its latches. So that's how it's going. Now you can see the level switches. No brakes or no soft soft. Of course, it got brakes, otherwise, it will just like fly away. Yes, let's make it go up to the third floor. Is it It sparks a lot, that's why you have the contacts here, because you don't want to go in the actual uh, elevator shaft and do that, cleaning the contacts. It's much easier to have the contacts up here. So, that's interesting. Let's see if there's anybody in the elevator, otherwise they'd be pretty confused why it's behaving like that. Hmm, what can we do now? Let's make go to the first floor. Let's have a look on the motor here. It stops directly. I was pretty scared when I was younger when I went to this elevator. And it stopped like just so I jumped up up and down and the lights uh, turned off of course because the foot switch was so light then so when it stopped I just jumped up a little bit and the, the light went off. It's a bit funny. Yes, there are graphite I think. Special contacts. Let's make it go up to the fourth floor fourth easier for me to get on it a close look at the contacts screens So yes, that's the cables for the elevator and uh, that's for the level switches. If we go around here, I think 
think it's this one. Oh yes, I want to turn it on again and see what this thing, that thing actually doing. But some of these, maybe I think that one or it, it's maybe this one. This one goes up to the switch here. But I think it's actually that one that's uh, controlling the level. You know that small window you saw where the elevator was. I think it's that one. You we'll see that. It's on the fourth floor now, so let's make up the first. Yes, it's that one. Go slowly. So yes, enough play with that one. Let's have a look on the fan room. Here's the fan room. Pretty modern. Just controlling the electrical box there, controlling box. Got PLCs. And yes, this is the head heat recovery. It goes all around here. And this one here is for heating. No, that's the heat recovery. Värme återvinning is heat recovery. And this is värme tillopp, this is where the heat is coming from. Yes, now I see it. The pipes go on the back side here and around to this one. Because that's the heat recovery. And there's the heat or warming up. It's a little bit warm because it's summer and it's pretty warm here, so you don't need any heating. So yes, exhaust is here and intake is there. Here sucks all the air out and shoof in that one. So yes, let's go down the elevator again. Let's go to the basement. We go further back. Maybe I can turn the lights off when it's stopping. <laughs> yes, we got a little uh, light cut. <laughs> It's also a pretty interesting uh, elevator room, actually. Hope you found this video interesting. And thanks for watching. Now I need to go back to work again. Let's take the easy way. I don't want to go out. It's not funny to go outside when I can be down in these uh, culverts. Need to be careful with the tubes. I'll smash my head into them.